This is my take on BBC Good Food 8 Fried Rice. Credit to Hersha for the recipe. I was a little apprehensive but decided to brave myself and give this a go. First off, rice. Add 1 cup of rice and 2 cups of water. And of course, I'm using teacups for measuring. This is the first time I've not washed my rice. Very nervous and hope this is going to be okay. You know what has happened if I'm hospitalized. Bring it to boil, cover with a lid, reduce the heat and simmer for 10 minutes. While waiting for the rice to be cooked, let's prepare some vegetables. First, red peppers, or some of you may call it capsicum. You have to dice them. You know what Hershey was saying? This could be a replacement for an egg fried rice from Chinese takeaway. That's why I'm keen to get this recipe validated. Okay, back to fetch. Peel the onion and give it a rough chop. I would also advise Hershey to go to another takeaway. Eight pounds for a meatless egg fried rice sounds ridiculously expensive. Next, garlic. This is definitely the easiest way to peel the garlic. Just use your palm to press the blade down and the force should be enough to crush the cloth. Slice and then dice the garlic. Next ingredient, ginger. Remove the skin of the ginger. The skin is bitter and it's not for normal consumption. And just grate it. Can you see? The rice is bubbling away. We are halfway through rice cooking. This is the final ingredient. Slice the spring onion on the diagonal. I did wash the spring onion beforehand. They can be quite dirty sometimes, especially inside those hidden parts. Wait, rice! This has now been simmering for 10 minutes. Huh, it's actually turned out better than expected. At least I've not seen any water. Having said that, the rice is still too wet to my liking and don't think this is ideal for fried rice. Rice should be steamed, definitely not boiled. And I would suggest a ratio of one cup of rice to one and a half cup of water. The cooking time of 10 minutes is fine. Ugh, here comes the rinsing. Hersha rinse the rice to remove starch. I'm not keen and I have to agree with Un Uncle Roger. And really question the need of this step. Upon trying, I noticed this has stopped the further cooking of rice which has prevented the scent of rice to cook through. The texture has changed after rinsing. Hands on heart, I'm not a big fan. I just don't like it. Now, time to crack on with the eggs. I'm using free range eggs here. Imagining the runny chicken makes me happy. Her shell was so much better as she could crack the egg one-handed. Anyway, scramble the eggs up, mix the eggs up. I've got a frying pan here. Get that onto a medium heat and add in a little bit of oil. Now put in the eggs. You just wanna gently scramble them. See, this is easy. Scramble egg is now ready. Move to a plate and just leave it to one side. Return the pan to the heat. Heat some oil in the pan over high heat this time. Add the onion and red pepper. Fry for two minutes. Then, add garlic and ginger. Fry for a further minute. Reduce the heat to medium. Add the cooked rice, scramble eggs, spring onions, 
and peas. Toss them together. Oh, don't forget the soy sauce. It said one tablespoon on the recipe. <sighs> I'm not sure that's gonna be enough. Almost guarantee it's not gonna be enough. Ta-da! After three to five minutes tossing, BBC Good Food Egg Fried Rice is ready. You know what, Uncle Roger has got this right. Asian mom will be filming if metal is used to scrape the pan. This is a big no-no. Mom won't be happy if she finds this out. Hope she doesn't watch this episode. The dish looked appetizing. The taste, however, is very bland. Definitely need more soy sauce and probably salt and pepper too. The rice is not cooked through. It's soft, almost mushy outside, but still very hard in the center. Thumbs up? This is different, but I won't cook it again. Thanks for watching.